a a uh let's see well hey everyone welcome to the stream it's time for your daily pink floyd discussion and uh No, hi, hi, hey everybody. We're gonna do a little Animal Crossing, and then I'm gonna take a break, have some dinner, and then uh, be back for Final Fantasy VII. Very extensive Final Fantasy VII stream later. Uh, Vinny Rimworld tonight? No, soon though. Soon. Vinny, do you think they'll try to break our balls? Yes. But yeah, I'm here a little bit late. Um, I just had one of those days. I just, just stayed in bed for a while. And then I went shopping. The store was pretty much empty, which was great. So I ended up buying a bunch of fresh food and everything. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just going to cook and, you know, make some food. And then, then then I'll be, you know, streaming Final Fantasy VII because I really want to get through that game because there's a lot of other games on the horizon. And I don't want to rush through it because I really like it, believe it or not. Did anyone else catch that quiz show on TV yesterday? Huh? Qu quiz show? No one watches TV at the same time anymore. Vinny, Twitch was down anyway, so you lucked out. I saw Ross tweeting about it. He said that Twitch, like, shit the bed. But yeah, just a chill Animal Crossing stream until later. Let's see. Hey kid, I'm a computer. Stop all the download and help computer. Classic ancient meme. There's a lot in this world you could care about, but the only thing worth caring about is friends. If you don't have folks to hang out with or write letters to, what do you really have? Nothing. Friends forever, Diva. I can't hate Diva. I can't hate Diva, chat. Um, on behalf of all of us here at Jolly Red's Treasure Trawler, I'd like to thank you for your wise, and if I may add, final purchase of a perfect, perfect painting enclosed. Please come again! No refunds! Red. That's cool. I have a goal for today. I'm gonna go over to the, uh, the room. Not the room, the, the room. Ha! <laughs> Freshly picked bamboo shoots straight from our mountain to my favorite vine. Eat them, plant them, do whatever pleases you. Stick them in a stew. Yeah, I have a couple things I'd like to try to do today. First, we're going to make YouTube stream private, of course. Almost forgot about that. Vinny, in the song Between the Cheeks on the highly philosophical album Blood Bagel, you sing the line Between the Cheeks of Love, and I was wondering if you're referring to Mike Love in that. Mike Love, um, yeah, I was thinking about, it, it, not even his butt cheeks, but his actual, like, his mouth. Mike Love's mouth is the subject of that song. Yes. Indeed. No, there's, um, there's a lyric that is, love's such an ugly five-letter word. And I've actually had someone email me like 10 times about that lyric. One person was like, Vinny, I, what are you trying to do? I'm like, wait a minute, did... The, like... I, I got to the point where I was like, I, I didn't want to be coy anymore and like joke around. I was just like, listen, dude, it's a joke song. I just said it. He was like, yes, but love has four letters. I think they were joking. I think they were joking. I don't know for sure. Oh cool, thanks Jackal. This'll... 
this will be good. I need to find a good uh, desk for this, but this will be very, very helpful in completing the look of this room. Very nice. And I have a film projector, another one. So we can do something with that. I mean, I can... I could definitely do interesting things with this room. Den desk in your catalog? Yeah, I'll take a look. Perfect painting. Vinny, I know this won't mean much coming from a random person like me, but I genuinely think you've made huge musical leaps in the last- these last years. Shit. I mean, I'm my own worst critic, and I try to be the one that judges myself harshly or not, but, um... No, thank you. Thanks, man. It's really cool. I went from between the cheeks of love and love such an ugly five-letter word, to, um... What have I done recently? Scoot the burps! Oh, that's old. Uh... Rub titties. Oh, wait, no, that's before Red Vox. I can't think of a single song after Blood Bagel. Hmm. That's why it's also frustrating that the album is just about done, but everything is kind of on hold at the moment, because I really... I, I think, um... I really like the stuff. The new stuff. So... It's there. I know it. I don't know what order the tracks are gonna be in. I know... 80% of the track listing. And then there's a couple that I'm like, I don't know where these should go. But... Otherwise, I, I know the songs, but here's the thing, I haven't heard some of them in, in many, many months. So, when I get back to the studio with Joe and we go to mix them, I'm either gonna hate them, or I'm gonna be like, hey, that's pretty good. We will see. I guess we will see. The tapestry. Vinny, will you send the Viking helmet to Joel? He just started playing. In due time, I have to add him first, and we have to actually visit each other's, like, islands, but yeah, for sure. I'll s I'm holding on to it for him. Let's see if I can get him a bone as well. Do it ASAP. Get out of here. If- I swear, Chad, if you don't pressure me about it... ...to stream with, like... Uh, ...cause I get requests to stream this game with, like, 30 different people. If you just, you know, give me my own kind of time to do it, it'll happen. Oh, Flick is in town. Hey, hey, remember me, Flick? The guy who loves bugs and all their skittery, chittery, sometimes glittery glory? I'm still looking for my soul bug, the one to be my artistic inspiration and lift me to ever more art. So if you find a bug, will you sell it to me? You can pay a little extra, no price is too high for my chitness kindred. Cool. Yeah, I haven't seen Flick in a while. I'm probably gonna not even spend that much time catching bugs on today's stream. I'd like to uh, work on that fountain area. Also, oh, it's ki chitinous, not chitinous. Oh, um, I may chat. I may need your help with something. This is that a Harv outfit? I may need your help with something related to Mario sixty four DS. Um, not saying it's going to be a full stream, but there seems to have been... Someone emailed me telling me about this thing that gives you full analog control over both the, the gameplay and the camera. Which 
both of those are amazing. Problem is, I spent like a good hour trying to get it to work. And even the person that sent it can't find the proper emulator or proper settings. It's called Tox Input. T-O-X-I-N-P-U-T. If you, if you Google that, there will be instructions. Um, I'm not claiming it'll be a full Mario 64 DS stream. Because there's rumors of a Mario 64 remake on the Switch. So... But, it could be a cool, um, one-off. And it, it could also work well as a, uh, a future stream, if we can get it to work. Listen, the rumors are still the rumors from, like, a month ago, so this is nothing new. I'm just saying, like, if there's any chance that we'll get some kind of Mario 64 or 3D collection, I'd rather hold off on the DS stream until we get an announcement or not around E3-ish time, which there is no E3, but you know what I mean. Uh, so, but that said, if anyone can help me figure out how to get Tox input to work, I would be forever indebted. Thank you, X Dark Mario. Did you see that scene from Trials of Mana? The VA uses the same speen filter, yes. I, I want you to know, when the speen filter's cutscene was revealed, it was sent to me a hundred times. Uh, not that I mind people sending it. Also, um... Square, the, the, repre the representative from Square sent an email back in relation to that code. And, uh... I gotta say, I have no idea. Like, they... They're not taking the code back. And I'm not thanking Square every 20 minutes. So, I'm going to say... That they gave me the key. And I'm also gonna say, when I stream Trials of Mana, that I will probably never be accepting anything from Square free again. Um, I think they're just trying to cover their own asses legally. But... Um, I'm not thanking Square every 20 minutes for a key for a game that I had every intention of buying until they offered it to me without the full terms of service. Um, and then they're like, oh, we have an updated agreement, you should check this out. If you don't use the code, you're set to stream it freely, except I can't buy the game for myself again. That's the problem. You know what I mean? Like, it's... If you have the game in your library already, you, you can't... I already redeemed the code when it was sent to me a week ago, because it's like, why not? And, um... So now I can't buy another copy because I already have the code. And you, you see what I mean, right? Yeah. Buy it on PS4 or Switch. I want to transfer my demo data over from the PC version, so that's not really an option, because I don't want to do that whole four-hour section again. Buy another code online, give it away. Um, my mods and I were talking about that, and there was some discussion. Doesn't seem like that's gonna work. Like, even being transparent about this, th the truth is, I've been given free keys for ten years, I've never had to... They said it's an FTC requirement, which seems like a little bit much because we looked up the FTC requirements. It doesn't go that deep for just keys. Um, I've never once had to comply to bizarre requirements like put hashtag free key in your title for every video you make on the game. What? Something like that. I, I'm Listen, I'm just being general at the moment. I can go through. I'm going to read it again before I stream the game. But it was a little... It was a little absurd in, in my, um, you know, in my reckoning. Because every key I've ever gotten, no one's ever told me to do that. If you take, you know, if you're doing a sponsorship, that's different. I've, I don't do those, though. Can you completely remove a product from your Steam library? Nope. <sighs> yes, you can. Well, how? How do I give the key back? You can ask support. Contact support and they will remove it. 
All right. Well, let me not interrupt Animal Crossing. I'm going to look into that, but also something tells me if I just like let the key go to waste. Um I don't know. What a mess. Anyway, I mean just look at me. They don't call it a beauty rest for nothing, Snappy. Thanks. Uh why is there something I can help you with, Snappy? I'm so very grateful to all the wonderful plants in the world, Snappy. Not only do plants make everything look so much more beautiful, they purify the very air we breathe. We owe them so much. I almost feel bad complaining about the ones that make me sneeze, almost. Listen, people in this world have real problems. And my issue with the key and square, it, it's fine. I'm just gonna mention the thing. I'm gonna stream the game as usual. And that's it. Uh, so anyway, yeah, Animal Crossing. Um, I have a question, chat, for you. What's the next event after this one? Do we have a specific event that we know is happening? May Day? Do we know what happens on that day? Special Island Tours. Oh, is that when Rover shows up? Because I was wondering where Rover was. We saw him in the thing and then... Okay, cool. Someone said Mike Piscopo predicts a plane crash. No, 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 that's Joe Piscopo. Is the guy's name. Alright, 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 so listen, I got a joke, okay? Uh, so there's this starship, it's called the Enterprise, okay? And, uh, oh, you're gonna love this one. So, the captain is caught in a temporal loop, and there's families, women and children, on the Enterprise, okay? Alright, so, I don't know why they, they have these families on the Enterprise to begin with, because they're going into dangerous situations to explore worlds that have never been explored before. What, what could happen? Over a thousand people, women and children, kids, everyone, people, civilians that could get killed. And uh, so anyway, they're in this time loop and Captain Picard gets them killed over and over and over again. And then they go through this loop. And then finally they realize with the help of Data that they're in a time loop and that they can fix this. And then they do, and that's the episode. Thanks, Joe Piscopo. Do you want a writing credit on this episode that you just pitched? Nah, how about you just get me to guest star in an episode? You know what? Fuck you, Joe Piscopo. No, he really was in an episode of Star Trek. And that is a real episode, by the way. It's actually a really good one. And I don't remember the name of it, but it is an episode where there's a, a time loop. And they have to, like, kind of... They get these suspicions that it's happened... I think Beverly Crusher kind of suspects something's wrong. Um, not Time's Arrow. It was, um... I don't know what the hell the name of Cause and Effect is the name of the episode, thank you. Yeah, I always forget the name of that one. It's a good one. Boy, well, my, my tree hunting has gone relatively uh, shitty so far, but hey, check this out. So today, what I'm planning on doing is expanding this a little bit, and I'm going to um, add the stone pavement, and then I'm going to try to add some better benches, because these benches are kind of lame. But the problem is, like I said yesterday, these bamboo stalks kind of, you can't see what's happening. I want to be able to see what's going on up there, so... You know, it's a work in progress. What would you consider a bad TNG episode? Uh... Code of Honor? 
um, many season one episodes and specifically an episode called Sub Rosa that I've talked about on stream plenty of times where Beverly Crusher Crusher goes to um, Space Scotland and has sex with a ghost. And it's fucking awful. It's season seven blows. And uh, there's an episode where Riker is in a coma and it's a clip episode. It's from season two. It's called Shades of Grey. There was a writer strike. So they just filmed a couple scenes of the actors like lamenting that Riker may never wake up and then showing clips of the previous season of Riker like doing heroic things and it's it's so bad I've only watched half of it once and I've seen every episode of that show multiple times but I can't I don't ever want to see that one again It's just filler. It's just a filler episode. And again, it was a writer strike, but, you know, what can you do? You really hate Frame of Mind, where Riker thinks he's losing his mind? No, I like that episode. Really good acting from Jonathan Frakes, even if it's over the top. To each his own. Which episode had the tar monster? I forget the name of it, but the tar monster kills one of the main characters in the most unceremonious and stupid way possible. And therefore, I will always hate that episode. It was black printer ink that they used to make the tar, and Riker, Jonathan Frakes, had to sub submerge himself completely in that shit. And, uh... Yeah. Hey, speaking of Star Trek, say, today we're, we're Star Trek and not Pink Floyd. So, count your lucky stars, everybody. Um... They're doing a Star Trek First Contact watch party with Jonathan Frakes watching live. And... I think that's on Friday. I think. Or, or soon. A couple days. Sounds kinda cool. Someone says First Contact sucks. I have my issues with that movie, but... I, I like it better than all the other TNG movies. It's just very... it mischaracterizes most of the... the cast, including Picard, very, very badly. But I, I like it. Um, I have... some fond memories of watching it as a kid. It's really stupid, though. Good evening to you. Isn't it a nice night out, Feathers? Oh, what an extraordinary wasp. I know what you're gonna say before you even say it. Dotted raincoat. I guess I deserve this for giving wasps over and over and over again. Just awful outfits. You hope you left a few for the rest of us, what, cherries? Yeah. How's your bug catching going? I saw that you were carrying a net, so I just assumed that that's what you were up to, Feathers. But maybe just like you just like carrying a net around everywhere you go. I didn't mean to call you out on it. She's too nice to make any like sarcastic jokes. I like being independent, but there are things I think are important to do if you're living on your own. Having a good friend nearby helps because it means having someone to check in with. I know I rely on you. She's she's so sweet. <laughs> it's it, it's. She's the nicest fucking villager I have. It's crazy. Speaking of friends, how about a wasp? She's got two of those in her house. Why wasps exactly? Because I'm catching them anyway, and it's just free gifts. And sometimes they give furniture. Hmm. I was gonna help you out with one of the more useful reactions today, but, um, kinda stumped. Sorry about that, you know. Hang on. Did you not know how to do apologetic? Wow, that was lucky. Sorry I didn't teach you sooner. Also, hey, Limes. You learned the apologetic reaction. I went to the supermarket today and I bought lemon. I bought two lemons, but no limes. I regret that now. I have, um... 
Asparagus. You need lemon with asparagus. <laughs> Take it back now. No, I, I really, uh... I don't know, I, I guess, uh... I guess the, the, the line was drawn in the sand, and I, I had to get... I had to get lemon. And then, weirdly enough, I listened to, um... Everything in its right place from Radiohead on the way back home. So... Yesterday I woke up sucking on lemon. Today's a lemon kind of day. And then I had lemonade. Because I was craving lemonade. I, wow. I didn't even make the connection until just now. Limes, I am so sorry. They had limeade too, but I got the lemon one. It's, it's the lemon phase, that's all. You know, I'll tell you what. My island, I like my villagers. There's a couple rascally, you know, scallywags and all that, but... All of these who are island residents are pretty cool. I like them. I don't think they would ever steal any lemons. Definitely not lemon-stealing whores. It's a setup to a bad joke. It was a long setup. It was a bad joke. You don't have to laugh. You don't have to make me feel like I told a good joke, chat. Really, I know the difference. I'm an adult, and I know I made a bad joke. Alright, and if you want... I can go work with Joe Piscopo on some new material. Alright, so there, there was this uh, transporting accident. Um, it was a lemon truck, okay? And they were on the highway. And... Hundreds of lemons dead. Hundreds. I know, it just gets worse, doesn't it? Someone in chat said that the, uh, the joke I just told, it insists upon itself. Someone said this season of vine sauce is awful. Goddamn right it is. You know, I've not heard 8 p.m. music all that much. So this is a nice treat. I usually don't stream Animal Crossing too late. Unless it's, you know, after the store closes. So, how are things with you? Now, did I turn off the stove before I left home? That's assuming I have a stove at home, mind you. I'm pretty sure I got a home, at least. He doesn't know? How's it going, Snort? So I heard that you've been buying up a mess of turnips from Daisy May. If that price goes up, you'll be set. Make sure they don't go bad, though. Those turnips won't be worth a lick if they're rotten. I want to go to Elijah Wood's town and sell my turnips there. Seems Flick come by for a visit. If he's here for bugs and other crawlies, he's welcome to him. Boy, you're in luck. A wasp wasn't expecting you to give me a critter of some sort like this. Gonna have to read up on bug care, huh? Workout top. I have so many of these. Wait, am I showing too much skin? Wait. No, man, you should show more skin.
I I would like to um Maybe I should give this to Egbert. Egbert, maybe appreciate this. Well, there's only one tree that I can think of that I didn't check, and I probably missed a couple, but it's this one. No? All right, well, once again, I'm gonna give up. I'm giving up. I'm throwing in the towel. I'll never get the furniture. It's fine. I got one, and it was garbage. I got these trees, yeah. Pretty sure I got the ones on the right as well. I'll just wait for that to come over here. Someone said there was a big fish. Could that be a turt? This one? This looks like a, a not bigger than usual. 9 p.m. Right, right, right. Most metal. Get all my fossils for today. Yeah. Is this like... This looks like a dictator suit. Vinny, I suppose it's a silly question to ask, but are you getting sick of this game at all? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I'm still enjoying it. I think the streams are going to be a little bit more sporadic. Yeah, I mean, it's- it's a lot of the- like, I have goals, I wanna, like, get some of my rooms set up a little bit better. I'd like to, you know, do some outdoor stuff. Um, looking forward to new events, of course. If the content updates are... ...frequent, and they will be, on some level, I'll definitely be coming back to it. Like, I enjoy playing the game enough it's, it's just a chill, relaxing time. It's a, a way to get out of the your head for a little bit, get out of the the world, and just kind of relax in your town. And uh, I like that. And the music is nice. So I just love Animal Crossing. I don't know. I can't help it. But yeah, there's there's definitely things that are very repetitive. And that's kind of what the game is anyway, so it's not like it wasn't expected. Um, but you kind of have to make your own goals and find out what you want to do. And, uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm looking forward to, there's a potential, uh, dream town, uh, update coming based on some data mining or, or something like that. That I would look forward to very much because I would love to see other people's towns without actually having to, like, go to other people's towns. Perfect painting. The genuine article, no less. Yes, it is, indubitably. This is even more magnificent than I imagined. I shall treat this donation with the utmost care. Owl's honor. I shall also leave details about your donation for all to read once it's on display. Oh, <laughs> 
Ah, oh, we have all those fossils already. Vinny, can I suggest playing these types of games with no set goal, so not so often near release that you don't get too tired of them so quick? I mean, I've got like 70 hours in this game. That's a lot for a month. Or like, not 70. I don't know how many it was when last I checked. I mean, I'm still playing it. This is more than I play most new releases. Um, I feel like my hour to two hours a day has been very good. So I have no problem with the amount of gameplay I'm getting out of it. But that's the point, too. Like, you have a game like this where you could time travel. Again, I don't have anything against that, if that's how you like to play the game. But I like to play a little bit each day, knowing that every day I can rely on the store having some new shit. Knowing that I'll get some new furniture. So it's a little bit everyday uh, kind of game. And that's what makes it enjoyable for me. It's a different type of game than I usually play, and... I'll read about the painting in a bit. I'll go back. Someone's crusty old t-shirt... ...is here. What was the desk that someone recommended earlier, if anyone remembers? Anyone with, like, an impeccable memory? Like a good de den? Den desk? Oh, wow, that was expensive. Jeez, thanks, Jackal. Someone said, I don't know why I'm reading this out loud, I normally wouldn't read a comment like this out loud, but, uh, there's an article saying Animal Crossing is not escapism, but politicism. Alright, well that's, that you, that is the clickbait that probably got a lot of people reading that article. And... They knew that that was gonna get attention. It got my attention just now to talk about it. It's bait. It's bait. Bizarre bait. Someone said master bait. Exactly. <laughs> of course someone had to take it there, right? We- of course. And if it wasn't gonna be me, it was gonna be one of the viewers. It had to have been. And then I read that out loud, too. What the fuck kind of comments am I reading? Yeah, million garbage bins. Fuck yeah. I don't hear this song enough the game. So it's nice to hear it again. This is not KK Rider, where I've heard that 10,000 times. Clutter the room up even further. It's, it's fine.
Yeah. The inventory stuff is still... Like, someone said, what, what's an update you would like in this game? Just some more options for, like, faster, you know, inventory management. Maybe, maybe an auto-sort for your inventory. Just, like, some quality of life shit. I mean, more furniture is always nice, too. Um... You know, Brewster would be a nice update. There, there are several things I think would go really well in this game, but... A world maker would be nice, where you could make your own worlds and set your levels so that people can play- Oh wait, we got that already. I'd be fine with gyroids. How about, like, you being able to rent an apartment? So you can, like, have more rooms and store more stuff. Animal apartment. M muscle madness. What? Ooh. I heard shouting is a great way to work the abs. I also heard my neighbors were complaining. Is it weight training time? Find any cool fossils yesterday? I get so pumped imagining how strong dinosaurs were, Zip Zoom. Check it out. You gave me your wizard's robe. Now my muscles are modeling it. This is the coolest thing in my wardrobe by far. Sometimes I even sleep in it, Zip Zoom. The smell of sweat has seeped into the material just the way I like it. Oh, scoot! Now we're talking. I love your frog tea. Now here is a screen cap worthy moment. Half the fun of having giant muscles is showing them off. You can't beat active wear for that, Zip Zoom. Is someone hoping to inspire an outdoor concert by leaving out a marimba? I wouldn't mind hearing you play Vine Feathers. I have her attention. Oh, wait. Oh, she's joining! <laughs> She's joining me! gets a free concert. Wow, she's good. That was just a move, chat. That's like a rock and roll move. Sometimes I feel like this game is actually, like, fucking, like, fully cognizant of itself. And not insist- it doesn't insist upon itself, but it, it knows about itself. I've said it. I've said it. Alright, well then say the word banana. Are you enjoying them wasps? Still, still, uh, getting some entertainment value out of them, Drake? This log, uh, extra long sofa fits my butt perfectly. Wait, what? What, what, the, what the fuck was that, Drake? Oh. How do you think Drake is reading that magazine when he can't see below his duck bill? And his legs go through the magazine. Yikes, I can't stop yawning today. Is it true that yawns are catchy? Do you feel sleepy? 
Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, me too. Wonder what's going on with us today. Well, maybe it isn't just us. Maybe everyone in Whore Island is cursed to nap. Oh, I lost the opportunity to give him a gift. I gotta get some of your turnip recipes, Quacko. It's called sell them. But... Speaking of, I didn't even check my turnip prices today, chat. They could be 600. God, I hope they're not 600 while I'm streaming. Then everyone's gonna guilt trip me into coming to my island. You'll be like, but Vinny, you've gone to other people's islands to sell your turnips. It's only fair. And then I'm gonna spend six hours for eight people to sell their turnips. And then Elijah Wood, like, shows up in the chat room. He's like, Dominic Menomina, I challenge you to a turnip duel. Wasp statue? I think we're out of wasps. What is that? Is that a ghost? Chat, there's a ghost in my town. Huh. I've never seen this before. What do you want from me, ghost? This is the end for me, isn't it? This is how I go. Huh? A human? A real-life human? I've been on this island for a long time, but I've never seen a human. You just moved here. Oh, oh okay. Well, that explains everything. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Wisp. Nice to meet you. I, well, uh, I'll just be honest with you, I love the darkness, especially nighttime, but I'm afraid of ghosts. <sighs> this little run-in with you is you know, all shaken up. You scared some pieces of my spirit right out of me. Looks like they flew off when we bumped into each other. There's no way I can stay like this, what a pickle. Um, I'm sorry to ask this of you, but could you maybe collect the pieces of my spirit that flew away? Otherwise I'll be like this forever and I cannot deal with that. Please help, I'll promise. I promise there'll be something good in it for you. No, let's see here, there. Five pieces of my spirit in all. You should be able to find them floating around the island. You'll need a net to catch them. Who's a net? Who's a net? What if I sell them to Flick? Geistbusters. All right, now look. Look here, ghost. I know you may be leaving some ectoplasmic residue. We would like to purchase your residue and distill it into a fine adult beverage. Would this be copacetic with you, ghost? No glycol whatsoever. Nope. Nope. No antifreeze. No windshield wiper fluid. Zero embalming fluid in our adult beverage. The lamest bit. All right, wh where are your bits? I don't want to know where your bits are, chat member, actually. You know what? Don't answer that question. Oh, man. I'm busy. I'm in the middle of catching... ...ghosts.
Any any drinks today? Well, now that is a question I can answer. Though I answered it already. Uh, today was lemonade. I also am pleased to uh, announce that I was able to purchase. I was I have ginger ale, but I, I you know I really don't drink a lot of soda. In fact, no soda. The like, ginger ale is probably the only thing. It's got just as much sugar, which I didn't think about, and, and I'm like, oh right, of course it does. So, um, but I have a little bit of ginger ale, I, I, for, for, you know, special occasions, I bust that out. Adult beverage occasions. I got Canada Dry this time. Someone was, uh, asking which brand of ginger ale do I like, and I, I don't know. I, I just don't think about it. But someone was like, a lot of people in chat a couple weeks ago were like, Vinny, get Canada dry. I'm like, all right, whatever. Oh, cutting board. That looks cool. Gordon Ramsay would be proud. All right. Now, we're going to have an onion competition. Who can chop the onion the fastest? And the most accurate. You need to julienne the onion. onion. I bought onions today. The onions are now available. I got a red onion for burger, and I got white onion for any other oven-related uh, activities. So, you know... Like, during quarantine, that is pretty much... The... The most exciting news I could tell you all, is that I got an onion today. Wrong. Hey Vine, I heard some folks have been calling you Booty. I really dig the way that sounds, but would it be cool if I called you Booty too? Sure. That's really cool. I was hoping you'd say that, now I feel like we're the cool kids. Booty! God damn it. Everyone's been saying that you were burying bells yesterday. Is it true that sometimes bells turn into trees? What kind of fruit grows on, a, on that tree, Doodle Duh? I wish he said doodle dip. Not the bugs in the wall. The bugs in the floor. Here's a mini fridge. It's weird. I was just thinking back to the time I had a mini fridge. In the most recent What We Do in the Shadows, there was, uh, I think... No, not the most recent. The first one. Uh, Haley Joel Osment, his most precious and cherished possession was his mini fridge. <laughs> People are saying I blinded a wisp. Vinny, is that good? I really like that show. It's the type of humor I like from Flight of the Concords, but vampires. And good acting. Funny premise. The dude in that show, one of the vampires, Laszlo, is, um... I thought that was a fruit is the guy, one of the guys in the Chic Tweets song. He's the one who's laughing and playing the organ. So. Just a little piece of trivia, I guess. Let's see what my turnip prices are. Someone said, I heard the show is subpar to, compared to the movie. I disagree. I think they're on a similar level. That's just my opinion. Pinot. 
All right, place your bets. I'm going to say 78. 88. Wild log bench and log bench. Let's see, did anyone get 88 in chat? No. Not before. Um, it's gonna, yeah, I was gonna sell my wasp or, or get it, like, made into a thing from Flick, but. Too late. No T Rex here either. Just sell the one wasp. Vinny, is your town tune that stand in the place where you are song? Yes, it is. You could go to an island and get another one. Well, I already have a wasp head in my house. Is that what he would give me? No, it's oh, okay. It's just the model. Okay. Back to normal. Thank goodness. Thank you, I feel wonderful. Oh right, I need to give you the reward I promised. What's it going to be? Oh, who doesn't love furniture? I can get you something you don't have yet, or I can get you something expensive. What's it gonna be? Shit. Go with new. The expensive option is not worth it. Okay. Something new. Okay, you got it. Something new. Something you don't have yet. Well, whether you've got it already, whether or not you've got a lot of stuff, I think I have just the item for you. Have a double-sided wall clock. I hope our paths cross again sometime. Until then, farewell. Double-sided wall clock. Someone said that dude looks just like a boo. I think Nintendo will take this game down. What company got, like, claimed themselves? Wasn't that a thing that actually happened fairly recently? Toei? T-O-E-I? Arc Systems? This happens a lot, it seems. The people are... Sony on Twitter. Yeah, talking about... Insane situations. Yep. Double-sided wall clock. Oh. Eh. I'm sure I could do something with it. Somewhere. Mini fridge is sick, bro. Can I get changed? 
Hell yeah. Vinny, do you listen to Fiona Apple? I I've heard the songs in the 90s, but I don't know anything from the new album other than it's a strong five to a light six. <laughs> I don't know. I just I I have I've not heard it. I haven't listened to it. I just know it, it that turned into a problem. Fucking pandemic and everything's a problem. But yeah, I don't know. I liked her songs in the 90s. I like the Lannis Morissette. I'm not gonna lie, I, I had that album, Jagged Little Pill. I kinda really like that album. Uh, I only know a couple songs outside of that particular one, but... Yeah, Lannis... Lannis was definitely good. Thoughts on Bjork? <laughs> I know a couple songs. I never really dug into her work. I know that she wore a swan. Or a goose. <laughs> or something like that. Something like that. A stork? Bjork wore a stork. For the for a little while in my life, I thought storks were fake because the the whole you know the joke about you know the stork is gonna bring you uh, a, a a child. And I thought uh, storks aren't real. That's just a story that people you know. It's like clowns. Clowns aren't real. And then you find out clowns are real, and you're like, holy fuck! There's even a clown motel. What are they even doing there? Tell you what they do in there. Satanic activities. Chat, what do you think is better? Uh, one? I mean, it's very square if I do it like this. Should I do one or two? Two would require more modification. One is fine. Two, prefer two. Can we do a poll? I know this is fucking bizarre that I'm even gonna ask this question um, in, in terms of a poll, but... One or two. And, and I'm not even explaining what I mean. So, I mean, hopefully you just kind of get what I'm ta trying to say here. Alright, poll is up. I love Twitch's poll functionality. I have my complaints about some of Twitch's stuff from time to time, sure, but... I think integrated polling is really nice. Two. 67%. 68%. Can, can we get it 1% higher? Yep. 69% of the audience thinks I should go with two instead of just one. Alright. And for whoever asked the question... Um, Final Fantasy VII, it will be later, yes. It'll be a good long stream of it. Someone in chat asked a little while ago, question, if the Beatles are the quintessential British band, what is the American equivalent? Well, how about, like, Little Richard and... 
you know, the, the people that influenced the Beatles. I mean, Elvis... You know, Elvis, really, was fucking huge. Well, the Beach Boys, sure, but they're not the quintessential American band. They're the quintessential California... They were great, I love them, but I wouldn't put them on that thing. I wouldn't- I wouldn't say that that's a, a fair... Like, Chuck Berry, you have, like, Buddy Holly, people like that, but if you had to pick a band, like, the quintessential, like, when I think rock band after the Beatles, or around the same time as the Beatles, that were also American... Um, I love The Doors. I love The Doors. I don't know if I'd say they were them. They, uh... I, I need some I need some cherries so I can uh, continue moving objects. Nirvana is a is a pretty quintessential and like in terms of like albums sold and popularity. Yeah. Also, Nirvana has always been like a thing, an entity. You know, because you see people wearing Nirvana shirts because they it's cool to wear a Nirvana shirt. They think because of the message it sends, and then you ask them what their favorite Nirvana song is, and they say, Photograph. Um, <laughs> just messing around. Right? Of course I'm messing around, that's not real. Uh, but now, with a lot of stuff that's going on, it seems like Nirvana's making a pretty big... like, return to the public consciousness, especially since 90s nostalgia is kind of overtaking the 80s nostalgia. So... I think Nirvana is is a pretty pretty good answer. I don't know if it's the answer. Some would say Aerosmith. The Velvet Underground. Well, not everyone bought a Velvet Underground record, but everyone that did buy one started a band. That's the old saying. It's also like, you know, there's different generations, chat. You know, we're comparing the 60s to the 90s. Very, very different. So I don't know. I don't have a good answer to that question. I don't think there's one. Then again, I don't think the Beatles are the only quintessential rock, English rock band, you know? CCR. Uh, Creedence Clearwater. Oh yeah, some folks are born. Made to wave the flag. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty good option. Me. For their time, yeah. They were... Pretty big deal. What about meatloaf? Are you just asking if I like meatloaf? Because it is delicious, yeah. Leonard Skinner. Skinner's good. Skinner's great. No, uh, yeah, meatloaf is great too. I like a lot of meatloaf. It's got some great songs. That meat- that meatloaf. It took me some time to appreciate him, but yeah, sure. I liked it when he was in Fight Club. Do you like Dio? I do, yeah, I like a lot of Dio songs. I like Sabbath more with Ozzy. But I know the Dio solo stuff that I know is great, and some of Sabbath Dio is really good. Um, Ronnie James Dio, rest in peace. Dude was... What an amazing voice that guy had. Let's see. 
I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this. Maybe one flower. I'm going to move these. Move these lads. Oh. I hope you don't mind me trying to make my uh, area here cool. I know it's not the most exciting streaming, but I, I, uh, I really I want to get it right. Later, I'll be hitting things with a giant sword. So, you know, there's there's an ebb and a flow. There's a balance. There's a uh, title negotiation. There's a... Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. A push and a pull. There's a tug and a thing. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, like, one... F uh, so, how many bamboo do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so six. So, that would be... One. Two. Three. So, I could do one each. Like, one space in between each, and that would probably... Or I could do two spaces, so that it's here here, and then here. I don't know if there's a, an equal amount of length this way. I don't know. You shoveled a mark. Yeah, yeah, let me try that. Uh, are you where, uh, Bob? So I wouldn't be able to plant it here. This would have to come down one. You know, I'd have to extend this this whole thing uh, down one. Do one apart. Well, I could also then, if I do, if I extend this down one, I could also add a, um, a bamboo down here to even out the bamboo thing. Vinny, why do you hate Coldplay so much? Where'd you get that information? That is incorrect information. I hate them so, so much, not regular so much. No, I, I, I really like Parachutes. I like Viva La Vida. I like, um, Rush of Blood to the Head. Rush of Blood to the Head is my favorite. But then after that, Coldplay can kind of eat a dick. Alright, I don't love Coldplay all that much. I like when they had that one song, Today, today was gonna be the day they were gonna throw it back to you. No, they're, they're fine. They're just... I, I used the word milk toast yesterday and people are like, Vinny, what the fuck is milk toast? It's, it's a... It's a fancy way because I want to seem fancy when I'm not all that smart. I want to sound fancy. So, it's a fancy way to say that something is kind of generic and boring. And that's the problem I have with Coldplay. That's the, so that's, that's the real problem for me. And now I realize I'd need to extend this down two more to get it exactly, precisely, even Steven. So.
I'm gonna plant new bamboo. That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna do one apart. about Guster. I like Guster. I've only heard a couple of their songs, though. I don't know a ton of them. I heard, um... Slint? Like, for the first time, I guess? Oh, this is still the same thing. Just a... They're, they're pretty good. Um... I thought I... With Slint, I was like, is this just a band trying to be 90s? And no, they, they just, they're just they from 1991. I, I guess I just heard the name and thought that they were Seether. And I just wrote them off. I don't know, chat. I'm a weirdo. I, I guess I got confused. But yeah, I heard um, I heard a song from them, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be listening to the rest of this album later. But speaking of bands with the letter S, there's Sloan. They have an album called Twice Removed. I love that album, um, and they have a lot of other good songs too. And I regret they were around in February, and I did not go to their show. I think it was February at least, and I didn't go to their show. And that is, life is pain, because I didn't go to that show. I'm very upset. I, I, like, I had the option, and I just streamed instead. Fuck. It's like, God damn it. I didn't think about it, until, like, I wasn't too upset until after, you know, bad virus things. And then I got upset. I was like, oh shit. Should've went to that goddamn show. Favorite show you've ever been to. Ever been to. Ever. Ever. Oh my god. David Gilmore? Yeah, seeing David Gilmore do Echoes with Rick Wright was one of the moments of my life I'll never forget. David Byrne put on a great show, too. Uh, Radiohead, Queens of the Stone Age, those are honorable mentions. Uh, the Tours from last year, I saw them. It's a pretty high honorable mention there. Seeing the White Stripes in Coney Island in 2005 or so. McCartney was great, um, but yeah, I don't know, if I had to choose, it would be David Gilmore. The most indie band you've seen live? I've seen just tons of local Brooklyn-based bands, just random whatever the fuck, whoever was playing. Couldn't tell you the names of any of them. Oh, the toddler? Yeah, that dude, well, he kind of went mainstream here in Jay Callanan. I'm the toddler! That guy is the fucking cowboy meme guy. He was the toddler guy, now he's the screaming cowboy meme guy. Yeah, he opened for Pond. I saw him, I was like, wait a minute, this, this guy is fucking weird. But I really like his stage presence and... You know, there's something kind of... it's hard to look away. The guy's like really... 
he's really got um he was had the audience eating out of the palm of his hand um even though it was like bizarre and then a couple of years later there was the screaming cowboy meme and that was him and also um what's his name not to bring up fantano again because i know some people are spicy about fantano but i'm gonna bring him up again he loves kieran j callanan so that was a boost to his popularity You know, so there's definitely, um, a level of, like, after I saw the guy, he kind of blew up. Vinny, thoughts on current rock? I mean, I don't know what there is. Aside from the bands I know. Very limited. I'm not a- I'm not a professional. I'm, I'm very dumb. And so... <laughs> I have to say that because I don't want people thinking I'm some kind of like authority on this shit. I'm not. I really just like what I like and that's about it, but... Some, some good bands around right now that I'm aware of. I mean, King Gizzard being the best, in my humble opinion. King Gizzard is NASCAR metal. Alright, just because Joel said something doesn't mean you have to say it too. You know they did a folk album. They're not really metal. I mean, they do metal stuff. They do all kinds of stuff. They do psychedelic. They do acoustic. They do microtonal. They do all kinds of weird stuff. I don't think they're specifically trying to be a metal band, you know? But, yeah, I mean, I really, really love them. I love a lot of stuff coming out of Australia. And as for some current stuff, I've played it on stream. There's some, some bands that Spotify turns me on to. I listen to them, and then, you know, I kind of forget about them. I don't really search it out. People recommend stuff. You know, people send me stuff so much that I frequently just get overwhelmed. I'm like, I can't listen to all the stuff people send me. You know, it's like... 50 songs a week, sometimes, and I'm like... Oh, God damn it. Vinny, you'd really like this band. I'm like, I'm, I'm sure I would, but... Vinny, the OCs, I really like them, yeah. Psychedelic porn crumpets. I realize the name Psychedelic Porn Crumpets must be very bizarre for people who have never heard of that name, that band name before. You just get used to it. Again, my example is always the butthole surfers. Because that name doesn't really, like, affect me. Like, when I was a kid and I heard it for the first time, I was, ha! And then, you know, you get used to it. It's like, oh, that's just their band name. It's, it's the brand. Guys, it's the brand. And the evolution of this particular section of my Animal Crossing map must be, uh... It was just like a big empty space, and then it became like a big flower bamboo clusterfuck. First it was a bamboo clusterfuck, then it became a flower clusterfuck. Now it's, you know, turning into something fairly res respectable.
I like it. I just gotta get rid of that dirt path. I don't think that dirt path looks all that great. Vinny, what's the hardest band name to Google search? Um, probably Anal Cunt. Not just trying to be, like, gross for the sake of being gross, but even though I have no problem doing that. But yeah, Anal Cunt is a real band. They have a lot of fans, too. They're a real band with lots of fans, and they're- they're- that's just- that's it. <laughs> yeah, it's just a bomb! Vinny, have you heard of the band Diarrhea Planet? That's another cool name. Here's another band name that might be hard to Google for different reasons. The The. The The. And they're actually pretty good. It makes The Who seem like a very reasonable band name in comparison. Also, as much as I love Les Claypool, maybe one of my favorite musicians of all time, I love John Entwistle from The Who. I think he's my favorite bassist. Stuart Copeland's my favorite drummer. My favorite guitarist is David Gilmour. And John Entwistle is my favorite bassist. Not that anyone asked, but... I mean, it's just classic rock, guys. Nothing surprising there. Favorite vocalist? What about Brian May? Make no mistake- no, I love Brian- I, all these people that you're gonna list chat, I love them, I'm sure. But... You know, I have to make my choices, and I'm gonna say that... Those are my specific choices. Um... Favorite... Vocalist. David Bowie? Uh, but no, I mean, it's not like he's- he's like a powerhouse, it's just he's versatile, and I like the sound of his voice. You know, Mercury is- is like, Freddie Mercury is- is the one that you usually see on the lists as being, like, the best. So, I mean, I can't deny that. I love Queen, but I'm gonna say, um... Probably Bowie, but also, I love Robert Plant. Gilmore's a great vocalist, too. Someone said Lane Staley. Lane, Lane was an amazing singer. Even if he did her ear. You know. He did it really well. David Byrne. I don't think David Byrne is, like, the most technically proficient singer. But, as he himself once said, the better the singer, the harder it is to believe them. And, um... Whatever that means to you. For me, David Byrne is just a great singer. I love- I love hearing him sing. Love his enunciations. Getty Lee is a great bassist and singer, even if it is a little weird at first. Johnny Cash is great, sure. Yeah, I mean, these are all great. Cornell! Chris Cornell might be one of the best vocalists of all time in rock. Liam Gallagher? Mmm. It's a good front, man. Liam Gallagher is an interesting case for me because I don't like a lot of his voice. I don't like a lot of his vocals post Be Here Now. Peter Gabriel is fucking fantastic. He's so good. Yeah. Bob Dylan. 
I wouldn't call him a great vocalist, I'd call him a great singer-songwriter, but... Oh well, that's going to annoy me, so we'll just take care of that. Andy Partridge. Well, I'm a huge XTC fan at this point. Well, I say huge, but I only know a couple of their albums in full. I'm obsessed with them, but Andy Partridge is, is uh, yeah, he's, he's a good 80s vocalist, great lyricist, great songwriter. Damon Albarn. Yeah, big Damon fan. I don't know if he's one of the best of all time on a technical level, but I just love the tone of his voice. The dulcet tones of Damon Albarn's voice. Sean Ryder. Eat there! Vinny, why not make more space? Um... I don't feel like I need the space. I mean, Steve Winwood's another great vocalist. You know, if we're going back... to like the all-time classics. The guy from Disturbed is just uh oh, so good. Um but yeah, if you want to talk about like Stevie Nicks, I like Stevie Nicks's vocals a lot. Janis Joplin. Like, just- we're just talking about rock. We're just talking about rock. You know, because someone said, what about Annie Lennox? Yeah, Annie Lennox is great, too. Um, what about- I mean, she did the song in Lord of the Rings. She's great. What about, like, Whitney Houston? Of course, Whitney Houston is one of the all-time greatest. I only know- this is my- my domain of- of rock music, of course. Is what I know. And therefore, that's- that's really all I can comment on. <laughs> You know, chat, I kind of regret this incline being as far up as it is. I kind of knew. I was like, this is going to bother me at some point, isn't it? Could demolish it, wait a day, build another one after a day. Kind of cool, though. I can live with that. I can definitely live with that. Um, I need good benches, or some- some good stuff to put on the sides, or maybe, like, I can put two benches here, or some objects here. I don't know what. If anyone has any cool suggestions for me, let me know. I don't know what kind of stuff I should put there, but, like, definitely places to sit. Maybe some stone work. Iron garden benches. See if I have those. I might not have those. Bamboo furniture area is not a bad idea. I don't have bamboo benches. Let's see. So let's see what stone things I have. I've got stone stool. Those are fine. I might make a couple of those. Got garden rock, pond stone, cherry blossom, bird bath is kind of cool, stone table if I needed it. So I have a couple things. Bamboo, I only have like a pile of leaves and shit. Yeah, bamboo would probably go well over there. Kind of wood. You respect wood, chat. All the benches I have are like trash.
That could be cool. Fence. Ah, oh, yes! Greed! But don't forget about bushes. Oh yeah, bushes could go up there too. I, I need to buy more from what's his name? Leaf. Well, it's a work in progress. I'm gonna say... You know, to be continued. And I have some leftover bamboos. I planted them, but I didn't... What? What did I... Did anyone else see me do that and didn't stop me? I'm sure someone was like, Vinny, you have bamboo in your inventory. What the fuck are you doing? I'm sure someone was was aware of that. All right, I'm going to finish this up because I'm going to be back in about two. I'm going to make some food. And then I'll be back in about two and a half hours. I'm just gonna finish up that area with what I have now. So in like five minutes, I'm gonna take a, a two and a half hour break, and I'll be back with Final Fantasy VII for the rest of the night. So that's gonna be fun for people that don't like that game. Someone said never getting that turtle. The only reason I really would want a turtle is if I make a duck pond, I'd want a turt to be over there, too. Please unironically do a two and a half hour BRB. I play the entirety of uh, the Pink Floyd album Animals, Nine Inch Nails, Downward Spiral, all of Sgt. Pepper, Green Day, the father of all motherfuckers. Wait, not that one. And then, like, if Twitch busts my balls about it. I'd be like, no, Twitch, this is um, a BRB. It's fine. It's just a, it's, it's a BRB. Do you think they'll try to break my balls? We've kind of run into semi the same problem, which is that these bamboo trees kind of distract, like you can't see beyond them very well, so like some of the area is obscured from there. Use bamboo furniture. I don't really, I mean, it doesn't look terrible. It looks nice up here. It's like a chill spot for star watching. Do shrubs there? Oh yeah, shrubs could work. Alright, to be continued. I mean, there's some ideas. There, there are things percolating. I still need better uh, DIY. I need some, you know, decent benches. But it's it's looking... It's looking way better than it did. And it's, it's like a... It almost feels like, when I look at other people's islands, I'm like, damn, how do they do that? Like, I'm almost at that level where I'm like, oh shit, that looks cool. But, I need better DIY.
Someone said nice Twin Peaks reference. It wasn't intentional. I've only seen season one of Twin Peaks, and one time, and I don't remember much of it. Sorry, Flick. Uh, well, I got one thing. fucking money for a wasp. I'm just gonna check my villagers' uh, houses real quick so I can see if anyone has a DIY recipe for me. Bye, Drake. Bye, Drake. He's like, what? Oh, they're hanging out. I didn't know you were friends with Diva too. Well, make yourself at home. What's up? Isn't it so Diva to invite us all at the same time? I didn't get an invite. Hey, come on in. Jacques is here to hang out with two, if that's cool with you, you know. The time just felt right for a big time hangout, you know? So, we're we gonna get rowdy or what, you know? Uh, wait, what? She just started running. There's nothing better than cranking some R&B on my wooden block stereo. My parents used to complain about the noise so much, but they're not here now. Waha. Oh, that's not morbid. Friendship ended with D.Va. She is now... Dude, Jacques, with his musical skills, got a new fan. There it is, the DIY. A boot! Perfect timing, come take a look. What's that? You're not gonna believe it, I made a tulip surprise box. Somewhere around the 53rd mile, inspiration just hit me. See? Animal CrossFit. Now the title makes sense. Also, three wasps in this dude's house. Stacking wa- FOUR! FOUR WASPS! Stacking wasps upon wasps! Holy shit, Louie! That's a record. God damn. Oh yeah, I'm not stopping until every available piece of space in Louie's house is just wasp. The waspening has only just begun. You know what? Remember how I said this was going to be a short Animal Crossing stream? This ended up being almost two hours of Animal Crossing and it flew by. I did not expect this to take this much time. So, I mean, even though there are less things to do, 
that are new things, it's still really easy to get wrapped up in this game. Oh, and cookies here too. Perfect painting. This is by Paul Cezanne. Cezanne. I don't know if he's Italian. Uh, circa 1899, oil on canvas, apples and oranges. This still life is known to have inspired the work of many other artists, including Pablo Picasso. Rather than trying to recreate an image, Cezanne captured the beauty of shapes from many angles. With this work, Cezanne draws on both the atmosphere of the subjects and the spirit of its beholders. Hi, Vine. What a coinky dink running into you here. The minute I heard about the art exhibit opening at the museum, I rushed right over. As a pop music artist myself, I think it's important for me to show support for all the art in Hoor Island. Also, I think being seen in an art museum is really good for my image. Tell everyone you saw me here. Okay? God damn it, Cookie. God damn it, Cookie! Nursery bamboo, this is for you. Ah, nursery bamboo. Yeah, a plant. I'm gonna try real hard to take care of it. Here, have 975 bells. Suzanne was French. I probably am saying his name wrong then. Saison. <laughs> that sounds real French. Saison. It's pronounced croissant. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, Jacques is going to climb the Great Pyramid now. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Uh, I'll see you later with Final Fantasy VII Remake. Enjoy the next couple hours. If you want to wait here for auto host, it'll take you to some other streamers. I'm sure there's some good ones live right now. So, yeah, Mike is live. You can check him out, or you can check out any of the other mods that are on this channel that stream. They're very good friends. They do good work. I appreciate them very much. I don't know if Ross is live, but Ross is a good lad. Regardless, have a good night. Oh, Jerma's live too. A lot of good streamers. Mike and Rev. Everyone's... Everyone's live at this time, and I'm... I'm hoping you'll check them out. Good night, everybody, for now. I'll see you in a couple hours. Goodbye. 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 It is...